Hi everybody, welcome back to Jaffa Cooks and today I'm going to show you how to make a, well, a household favourite called a lasagna. Very simple, you've got meat, pasta, bechamel sauce and lovely layers of it as well. Um, before I start, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. Click on the bell icon, get the latest updates, find out what I'm up to. And please do M me and tell me how your recipe go, recipes go when you follow my channel. Um, so I've got be, uh, bolognese sauce and bechamel sauce. You'll find instructions on how to create these two really nice items in the descriptions below. Um, then I've just got some simple pasta, uncooked, and I've got some grated cheese. That's it. If you're following the recipe on the bolognese sauce, that's with the description below, just bear in mind, in my previous bolognese sauce, we used mushrooms, so you can actually remove those mushrooms and it's exactly the same recipe. And I'm just going to make layers of bolognese sauce and pasta, that's it. So there's my first layer, I'm going to put some bolognese sauce in the base first, and then just regular pasta. And this pasta doesn't require pre-cooking, the moisture in the bechamel sauce, sorry, in the bolognese sauce, We'll allow it to cook. Next layer. Now, there are many different ways of making lasagna. Some will make actually layers of pasta, bolognese, and then bechamel in the middle. I find it a bit heavy. Um, so I'm just doing bolognese and pasta, and then bechamel towards the end on top. So you could do a deep dish lasagna um, by just using a different type of dish. Um, I'm, I find that if uh, my house, we try and eat um, a bit healthy, so we don't do too much of lasagna, but we want them to have a balanced diet. So if it's, there's too much um, lasagna, then the salad and, and everything else doesn't get eaten. So I'm using a shallow dish today, like normal. Okay, so I've finished layering my pasta and bolognese sauce. Finally, I'm just going to take my bechamel and place a layer over the top. And whilst I'm doing this, the final layer is basically sprinkled cheese. Now you could, um, you could make some lasagna just as is, and you could put it into a container or a, um, a dish, freeze it, take it out when you feel like, or you've got time, or you're having a rainy day, um, and just pop it in the oven. Okay, so my last part to finish this off is some grated cheese. And if you're going to eat this, well, I always find that eating lasagna a day old is nicer. It allows the uh, bechamel and the meat to settle and set. Um, however, if you're going to eat it now or a bit later on, 180 degrees, 45 minutes in the oven, brown off the top under the grill, and you're good to go. Tell me how it goes. Have a great evening. Enjoy your lasagna. Don't forget the garlic bread. See you again. Bye.